Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. We're going to do a slight adjustment here. They finished these last two rows, but this one here is just too, it's too high. You can see the difference between on the row where old Bear Bear there is standing and this row. It's about four inches higher. So, and I had thought that these two rows would be it, but because they've dug into this bank here, you know, as I instructed, now uh, they've created extra space there where he is standing uh, to make another row. So we're going to dig out of this bank again some more and make another row all the way down to here. And then we'll be finished with this half. And so I've got uh, tomato plants up there that are ready to be transplanted. And so... Uh, we're gonna bring those down and I don't know if we'll get time today because it's already past lunchtime I don't know if they're gonna have time to finish this uh, row and, and get things transplanted but hopefully at least they'll get uh, get that row done we've done a lot of cleanup over here all around the well here they've cleaned up and made big strides on cleaning out this side of the bank. And look, we're, we're going to use as much of this soil uh, as we need. It, it, it doesn't really matter to me if we have uh, a uh, another fish pond here at some point in the future or not. Because the way I'm looking at things, probably not. So we don't need this dam. But we do need the soil that it contains for the furrows that we're going to put in over here. And that's just what we're going to do. We're going to make furrows. We're not going to dig anymore. Uh, we're just going to make raised beds. We're not going to dig down anymore. We're just going to add soil. two rows evened out, get the next one put in, it's all good. All right, well they finished up this last row here. As you can see the dirt removal has begun. We've got a little road of boards here. Such as it is, and that's how we're bringing soil back over to here. I'm gonna need a little bit more than this. enough back in there. We we'll probably need one more load there, one there, and one there. I had, was hoping that that soil would be the same as it is over there. It'd be easier to handle, but it's like they're just shoveling mud out. Well, it is what it is. All right, well, I'm taking it real easy. I'm not overworking myself at all. And I'm just using the bar here. I don't have to stoop and dig with that shovel. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to bother my ribs that much. I'm gonna take a little break and show you what Consing's doing here. Uh, these Last three rows we've got in here, she's putting uh, tomatoes in. I think we've got enough to plant all three of those rows. 
I think we do. We will see. Get down off of here without breaking anything else. She also put some peppers in here in the in the bare area. So a double row of tomatoes here and two more double rows. And this will all be good. These pepper plants, let's see, this is the, well for some of these it's the fourth day, they've been, fifth day, they've been out of the water. And you can see they're just taking off. They're loving it. They're all doing well. I'm also going to have Constantine rip out those tomatoes there that have the uh, blight. And because it, it's only going to facilitate the other tomatoes catching it. So it's going to pull all those old bad ones out, even though they have fruit on them. It just doesn't matter. Out they come. For the most part, yeah, I was closely looking at them here, and they've all but a few have even recovered from being transplanted. Because we were really careful, and it was kind of easy because they were in clay. It's kind of easy to not disturb the roots. So I'm liking this. I'm I'm pleased with how this these raised beds are turning out. And even though it's going to be quite the chore doing all these fields, it just has to be done. The benefit to the crops far outweigh the cost of labor. All right, well, we're finishing up here. We've got three, five started. Which would probably be equivalent to about one done. It's just easier to do it this way. Less board moving. And just keep at it. We're... I think it's pretty obvious we're going to have to use almost all of this dam. Now I only cut back since it was me with the bar I was kind of able to regulate how far everything was going back. Now they were leaving this part of the walkway but I wanted it a bit more. And now I'll come back when we're done with these and I'll flatten this out so we'll have another uh, just another walkway next to this irrigation canal for this other field so hopefully we'll have enough dirt if we take this bank out all the way back that way and all the way this way now we may have to be we may have to bring dirt from the other side just don't know yet it's hard to judge Consing has done a bang up job here. How many Consing Pila? 64. 64? Come on, BB. How about? How about? 64, sir. Little BB, he's, he's getting around okay now, but he's just a, I think he's always going to be a little bit gimpy. He's a good dog. I think the, I think he's been cured from wandering around, but she's put in 64 so far. And I don't know, probably another 20, 25 to go. And then this side will be complete and planted. Looking forward to it. On this side, I doubt seriously if it'll be complete and planted this week, but all we can do is all we can do. Hopefully by the middle of next week. 
and about the time we get done with this side of this really swampy field it'll be time to take out those mung beans and uh, plant something different I, I would imagine um, I don't know how much longer the mung beans are, are going to viably produce until it's just time to take them out and then that one field there where the mung beans are is easily as large as these two fields here that we just did so it'll probably take a couple a couple three weeks to prep this field but we're getting there thank you everyone please like comment share and subscribe